there is a small but it exists chance that you can get a Tyrannolophosaur from this event. And hey guys, it's Southern Rack. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game Site H. Woo! I mean, look man, I, I've been really busy with school. I haven't had enough time to upload recently. But, I mean, luckily, luckily, last time around, if you do remember correctly, we were able to put in something that would not waste hatchery space. And that is, obviously, the Styracosaurus Lux, which took six days to hatch, and I've basically waited, well, I've waited a bit more than six days, but it is ready now, and it'll be the very first thing that we collect this episode. So please welcome our new addition, the Styracosaurus Lux. This is a super legendary, albeit it is not the best one. At currently 322 health, 200 attack. Seems like it's a glass cannon. I mean, I like glass cannons. They're very, very sorry. They're fairly useful in several ways. Let's feed this guy to level 10. Okay, at level 10, 483 health, 300 attack. It's not too shabby, but like, I mean, probably doesn't make my top lineup either. And the fact, Styracosaurus Lux exhibits bioluminescence, a natural glow in the dark. We don't see that yet because it's only level 10. So yeah, that is our big addition. That is the thing that I spent so, so long over my holidays grinding for. And there we go. The Styracosaurus Lux. It probably wasn't worth it at all, <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, we also have Capra Sutures, which is ready to be collected at level 11. Which is fairly useful. 577 health, 97 attack. Very nice indeed. <clears throat> and surprisingly, that seems to be it. I didn't put anything in the free slot, probably because I forgot to. Or like the game reset or something. And it uh, got rid of my progress. But, I mean, I think the easy next call, right? Since nobody, I don't think anybody commented on what I should evolve to level 40 next. I'm going to make the executive decision that it should be Kulosuchus that heads to level 40. So... Let's get on our way by getting a level 20 Kulosuchus in here. We've already got all eight, so we don't need to hatch anymore. But in the rare hatchery, uh, in our hatchery, we will hatch. Uh, let's see, let's see. Still have seven of these guys, by the way. Whew. Let's hatch Gallimimus. Let's hatch Gallimimus. Why not? And in here, we have a couple legendaries to get, and I think I will pick. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's between Shunosaurus. Oh, you know what? I'll hatch Tappy Jalosaurus in the 10 buck hatchery, 14 hours. And that'll be very nice and on time for next episode, which hopefully will be soon. I, no guarantees, but I hope I can record that soon. That's actually it for new additions. That was actually very quick. Uh, only three minutes. But today is an extremely busy day because we have three battles. Uh, uh, three battles that I would like to get done. The first is the Parasaurolophus Stampede. The second, the Shunosaurus Stampede. And the third, right here, the Little Carnivale Pack. Now, the reason why I'm not doing a lot of red envelope rewards pack is because this event costs... 888,888 coins. Who has that much money? Not me. And guess what? You, you don't even get... Like, it's a 4% chance that you get anything good. Like a 10% chance you get something good. You're probably just going to get a Sun Dripteris and you're going to feel scammed. Do not do this event. It's horrible. Not worth your coins, okay? But let's begin. Uh, let's not dilly-dally too much. Oh, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Alright. Um... So, yeah, Shinosaurus Stampede event. Oh, as you can see, Styracosaurus Lux. I mean, it stacks up pretty nicely at the very bottom of our super legendary roster, unfortunately. But, I mean, yeah, I can't say I didn't expect it. Its stats are not impressive. So, for this event, I mean, I'd like to go with three carnivores. Let's start off with... Well, I mean, let's see. We just need to one-shot the Shinosauruses, and we should be okay. So, probably something like this will get us the job done. And we get a chance at winning another Shinosaurus, which would be very nice. So yeah, because I've picked like really strong creatures, we can just all in here. It doesn't really matter. 
the Shinosauruses can never kill a Langosaurus. They're all level 1. And apparently, these guys are always level 1. Like, no matter how strong your creatures are, the Shinosauruses are always level 1. Which is ridiculous. Yeah, so I'm just going to go all offensive. We don't defend here. We don't need to save turns. We don't need to do anything. We just can go for 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And then when T-Rex comes in, can one shot or like two shot the last Alangus, uh, the last Shinosaurus or whatever. Here's the next Shinosaurus. If you go for four, it is all over. Doesn't go for four. That means that we'll go for four. And four reserve, just in case uh, we need to use the T-Rex. But I don't think that is going to happen. Let me just move this down a little bit so you guys can see a bit more of the screen. Uh, it's not working. I don't know what's happening, to be honest. Alright, let's go for eight, and we wrap up this battle. Shunosaurus is taken down. Cryolophosaurus takes the win. Now, let's see if we can get another Shunosaurus. Another one would be great. We'll be well on our way to that level 20. 50% chance. Ah, uh, we don't get it this time. 720 DNA, 720 DNA. You win some, you lose some, you know. So that's fine. It, I mean, it hurts a little bit. But it's nothing too crazy. We can always go again next time. If Is there a next time? There is not a next time, I don't think. Oh, wow. We will not go again next time. Uh, the Parasaurus Stampede. I feel like I should just do this one off camera. Because, like, I mean, it's nothing crazy, right? But what I really want to get done on camera is the little Carnivale pack. So let's get on with this one. Oh. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do, like, the first... Yeah, I'm going to do the first four battles off camera. And I'll come back to you guys for the last one. See you then. I don't know how I won that last one. That was crazy. I had to use my full brain power for that one. Wow. All right, we've made it to the final battle of the little Carnivale pack. And I'll tell you why this pack is so good. There is a small, but it exists, chance that you can get a Tyrannolophosaur from this event. And it's a guaranteed 100 bucks, even if you don't. There are some very good dinosaurs here. Like, up for the taking, right? Obviously, you there is a good chance that you get, like, a super rare or a rare, which is, like, not as good. But there is a very high chance that you do get something good. So that's why I must do it, right? Simple, right? I, there's so much chance. Oh, my God. I, that actually kind of hurts. I missed out on a bit of DNA there. Whatever. We have struggled through four battles. Four very intense battles I have struggled through. And now it's time for the final one. To see whether or not we will be able to win this pack. Irritator. To Puxara and Unesaurus. Now we have completely exhausted our reserves. We're going to go with a Tijangasaurus to start. Eudemorphodon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to play safe. I'm going with something that doesn't die in one hit. Oh man, everything dies in one hit. Prianticus, Unimorphodon, and a Palosaurus to finish off. This team should win us everything. It's time to see if we can do it. I've saved these guys all the way to the end. Obviously, you save your best for last. I'm going to make sure Prianticus doesn't die. Irritator will hopefully go for two. Okay, it switches. That's fine. That could be a reserve, so I'm just going to go for two reserves. It was a block. It goes for two. Now, I think that means I've won. 
We're still not too sure. But this is very promising because now I'll go for three. Irritator is going to come in with three. I don't want a Patasaurus to face Irritator. So I'm going to go for two block. And in any case, it... Like, there is a very high chance the bot switches into Unisaurus. Best case scenario though, it goes for three. It goes for two. That's fair. I have four. I'm just going to go for all four to make sure that Irritator is dead. Now, in comes Unisaurus with 477 attack. It can go for four and that... I mean, it'll go for three and that will kill you to Morphodon. But that doesn't matter because here comes a Patasaurus and Patasaurus has 203 attack, has four. That's not enough to kill it though. So we're going to have to go for this. Now Unisaurus has four. It goes for, we have won. GG. Okay, we struggled through a lot of battles. I lost a big one, but we are here now. And we've just won the final battle to get this pack. Now, it is just a question of whether Raptor Jesus will be on my side today. Let's see. There is... A very minuscule chance I get a legendary hybrid. That would be great. Otherwise, anything that isn't a rare or super rare is welcome. Please. Mm, okay. Well, we end up getting a super rare. It is you. Uh, it is Ankylosaurus. I think I count myself unlucky on that one because there were so many other things I could have gone. But hey, I mean, what can you do? Sometimes you just roll the unlucky dice. Ah, okay, yeah, that does hurt a little bit, eh? Hey. Yikes. Let's see if I can get any more rewards. Okay, yeah, I'll claim all of these. Five tickets, 20,000 food, 75,000 coins. All right, well. Well, I mean, it's a little bit unfortunate that we didn't get anything great, but I think I can probably leave the episode there. We did two events today, got some nice bit of progress. I'm pretty sure there's a mission that I am... Okay, it is have 10 dinosaurs at level 40, which is we're currently working on. Uh, we have the, what's it called? The Kulasukas on the way. Let's collect the Instagram rewards pack while we're here. There's a chance we get a super rare creature. Will we get it here? No. Naturally, we get unlucky again. That's okay. Today doesn't seem to be a good day for my luck, you know? <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm just going to end the episode there. If you guys have enjoyed, once again, please remember to like and subscribe. We're doing good for a channel that doesn't upload quite as often. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys all for the support. And I'll see you guys in future streams and videos.